Welcome back to Breslov Campus, Shavua Tov. Um, one of Rabbi Nachman's probably most important teachings, one that he stressed himself that a person should go with this teaching, is a famous lesson called Azamra. Azamra, which translates as I will sing, Azamra. It's found in Likute Moran, lesson 282, Reish Pebet. In this lesson, Rabbi Nachman stresses the importance of looking for the good, finding the good points in yourself and others, but especially in yourself. And by finding the good, you're able to be happy, you're able to dove in, you're able to be positive, you're able to do things in life. Because without this, you basically can't do anything. Because the guilty feeling a person has from all types of setbacks in life, the guilt and negativity that the person experiences keeps the person down. So it's like someone who's trying to gasp for air, but they push his head back in the water. He's trying to get out of quicksand, but he can't get, he's stuck in. When a person has a negative attitude, even if he tries to do something positive, it doesn't work. Because the whole thing is in a cup of negativity. Rabbi Nachman stresses that a person has to be positive. The positive attitude you have is what gives you the strength to actually get to do what you have to do. Because of this, it is probably one of Ibn Nachman's most important teachings. It's like the cup for everything else in it. Because only with this positive attitude can you do things. If you have a negative attitude, even if you want, like we said, you want and try to do things, good things, positive things, it's like you're trying to come out for air, and then you just go back in, quicksand, go back in. The thing is, the catch-22 is... To even in the first place to find the good points, you also need help for that. In other words, he's giving us, Rabbi Nachman, an amazing idea to find the good, to seek the good, to be positive, to look at the good, but even to do that itself. And he says, and even if you try to find good points and it's mixed of a lot of admixture of garbage and bad and impurity and sins and blemishes, still there has to be a good point. Even after all that, when you try on your own to be positive, you can find it almost impossible to do it. There's something else missing to help me to find the good points. This is hinted to in the word itself, Azamra. The root of the word is Zamer, Zamar. The Aleph means I will sing, Azamra. But Rabbi Nachman teaches elsewhere that the Aleph stands for the Tzaddik. He teaches in lesson 73, that <clears throat> Aleph stands for Alufenu Mesubalim. It's a verse from Psalms, and it's referring to the Tzadikim. Tzadikim are called Alufenu, our teachers, our guides. So Aleph stands for the Tzadik, and it's as if we read it like this: Azamra, Aleph, Zamra. In other words, with the help of a Tzadik, I can yes begin to sing. I can yes be able to find my good points, to focus on the good, to be positive, to have the right frame of mind. All this is, yes, that's, I know what I have to do. Thank you very much. That's what I have to do. But it's with the help and assistance of a tzaddik, the Aleph, who helps me to give that push to be able to do that. So what we're trying to say, bottom line is, even this most fundamental teaching of Rabbi Nachman needs the help of the tzaddikim themselves to give that person that boost. So this means on a practical level that while davening, to, yes, come to having a positive, optimistic attitude in life, you should also add in the davening that you should merit to come close to such outstanding tzaddikim whose light and merit and strength can help you to push out all the necessary darkness in order to even begin to start this process of Azamra of finding the good points.